good morning and happy red lipstick challenge day oh squirrel <laughs> I just did the dog thing oh my gosh all right just distracted by a squirrel yes I'm a dog person oh I have a cute dog story for you in a minute um so today I'm going to wear um I just got a box from Sephora last night yesterday it got shipped to the wrong address my old address and then Sephora calls me oh, let me get going with this I'll tell you in a minute okay so LA girl matte flat velvet lipstick and I was disappointed I thought this one was going to be red obviously because I order red um, the color is frisky however this does not look red to me oh and it's an actual lipstick hmm interesting that is not red it's corally color that's okay it's kind of the color I'm wearing yeah so my Ulta box got shipped to the wrong address and the people there called Ulta and said hey we got this box it doesn't belong to us so Ulta calls me and says <clears throat> Your box went to the wrong place. We're not going to refund you and we're not going to ship you new product. Yeah. So I went to the old house and I knocked on the door. Oh, and, and they'd said that the old people didn't want feel comfortable having me come because they didn't know me to pick up the box. I went anyway. I knocked on the door. I left him a note and said, please let me have my package. For which they texted me and said, sure, come get it off the porch. Huh. Well, certainly is not red. That's for sure. kind of disappointing I was expecting red feels very creamy like a standard lipstick is there a smell mm, no all right my dog story right uh, so, <laughs> yeah, the guy I like is also a dog person. <laughs> so I send him these pictures. I'm like, I feel like I'm a confused dog in an obedience class, in a new class. And I need some more direction. Anyway, it was cute. Hmm. Well, I'm not a super fan of this. I don't want to put on any more because it's already going to start to slide all over the place. But I don't like how the color is... Hmm. You can see the color of, of my lips, which are darker, coming through the color of this one. So, I don't love that. But if I put on more to try and cover up my own lip color, it's just going to be thick and I know it's going to move all over the place because it's... Yeah, it's already slidey. Hmm. Well... And I don't know that I'd call this a matte. Maybe it'll dry. It says on there it's matte. LA Girl Matte Flat Velvet Lipstick. It says right there, matte. I see an awful lot of shine. That's not very matte. Mm. Let's see what you think. Yeah. Don't know about that. Well, I'll let you know how it goes, but I have a feeling I drink coffee, it's gonna be everywhere. 
<sighs> All right, bye. All right, so after lunch update. Um, I had, I did have a sandwich for lunch. So um, it was an egg salad one, not an open face, so it didn't go up my nose. Good thing for those of you that remember that day. Whew. Um, so I did have a sandwich, which typically would put lipstick all over my chin and face. Um, but I didn't notice, I'm gonna look in the mirror here. No, I didn't notice anything on my face with this one, which is good. However, there's also not a lot left on my lips. So, and being that it's not a true red, which was really disappointing because online it looked red and it, in the description said it was red and it's called frisky and, um, yeah, disappointing. It's not red. Reds, I find, wear a little differently on me. I don't know. Whether it's the pink just isn't, or coral isn't as noticeable when it gets on my skin. <laughs> Whatever. Um, here's my coffee cup from lunch. You can see there's not a whole lot of transfer on there. Um, but like I say, there's not a whole lot left on my lips either. So, I did feel it moving around earlier um, before lunch. I didn't get a chance to have coffee or anything like that this morning. Kind of had to, had a stuff, bunch of stuff to do at work. Um, yeah. And being that I tend to do that a lot. I probably... Where did it go? Hmm. Well, anyway. Gonna reapply it because I have a faded lip look. And I'm not a fan of that. That's why I like the liquid ones and the long-lasting ones. This one, though, was on a good sale at Sephora, which is why I bought it. And it said online that it was long-lasting and matte and yeah disappointed but whatever it wears just like a regular lipstick for me it's not long lasting and it's not really matte and it kind of walks all over the place though being red it hasn't bled on my face so that's a good thing right Kind of matches my shirt. Hmm. All right. Be sure that you subscribe and like and do all that stuff and leave me comments. Let me know how I'm go how it's going down here because I need some feedback. <laughs> I need some feedback. This is all new for me. So, um, yeah. Let me know. Thumbs up. Like it. Subscribe so you don't miss one. Leave me a comment. I'll reply, I promise. All right, uh, I will see you in, uh, no hope for this one. It's probably gonna be gone by the time I get off work, but I'll keep you posted. Bye. Okay, so I'm back. So we reapplied after lunch. I don't think it stayed. Let's see my coffee cup. Look at that. Look at all that. That's a lot of pink. It's supposed to be red, but it's pink. That's a lot of pink. It was also all over my water bottle. It feels kind of greasy. Kind of like a... Yeah, just a regular lipstick. A little greasy, a little bit not <sighs> definitely feathered all over the place gathering in the creases and at the edges and feathered out of it and here I go putting on more because I'm not done with my day I have another client to go to don't get me wrong. I love my clients and I love my job. I love what I do. I'm just tired. I'm going to go home and sleep. Tonight is not a night I want to go out 
Tonight is a night I want to go home and sleep. Yeah. I just don't love the, um, the coverage on this one. It's not very even. It has thick spots. It has thin spots. And it feathers. Which is awful. I hate feathering. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> Go like that and you can smear it around your lips and now it's... Ooh, I don't know how you can see that. Can you see how it's like... Super thick in the creases. Okay, if I do that with my lips, there should not be any lines or creases on my lips because I'm spreading them out smooth, but I can see lines in the lipstick and that's gross. They should not be there. That's annoying. Oh well. This one this one's going back. Send me a message down below. What is your favorite one? What do you want me to try? Or maybe there's one that you absolutely hate that you want me to try. That would be fun. Thanks. Let me know down below. Thumbs up. Do you like it? Color's not bad. Coverage is awful. Wears like a lipstick. I dislike this lipstick. Don't forget to subscribe so you know when I launch when I put out the next one, which should be tomorrow. Okay, let you know if this if I have any changes on this one by the end of day. Bye.